What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. Now you guys know the Pixel 4 came out with their new motion sense with air gestures and everything like that. And that's all due to the sensor, the, actually the radar, it's called Project Soli, uh, that they have in the forehead of their phone. Uh, now there are some people out there that want to have those same gestures on their Android phone. And today I'm going to show you how you can get those air gestures on any Android device. So first things first, we're gonna go to Google Chrome and I already have the website pulled up for you, but I will leave the link in the description down below. So be sure to check out the link in the description. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down until we find the attached files. And basically it's called hovering controls. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually click on the first one that says 3.5 and we are going to download that. And since I already tried it beforehand, I have it, so I'm gonna download the file again. And once that's done downloading, we are going to press open. We are going to want to install. The app has been installed, so we're gonna press open. And we are going to let it choose. And we're gonna have it control access to basically everything. We're gonna press continue. And this is what will pop up and it'll say it was built for an older version, so you may, and it may not work properly. And I am running Android 10, so in a minute I'll show you what exactly doesn't work. We're gonna press OK, and then we're gonna have to activate the admin options. So we're gonna press yes, activate, and there we go. So we have basically three to four different types of gestures. And the first one is the hover hold, the slide once, and there's obviously target mode, carousel mode, and then slide twice. So let's try um, let's try slide. First, we're actually going to turn on. Let's try let's have that one. Slide once. So let's have let's have the camera. All right. And then what we're going to do is press start. So once we pull down. It's turned on, and if I can show you guys, it's a slide once, right? And once you slide, you'll hear a vibration on your phone. Sometimes it's a hit or a miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna keep trying until it does. So basically, what's going to happen is, there, I just turned on the hover hold, as well as the slide once, and I'm going to hover my hand and hold on. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. So now it detected that I slided to open the camera, which I didn't, but I'm gonna hover and hold again to open Amazon. Like I said, it's usually a hit or miss. There we go. So it does take a while and it did open Amazon, but if we go back and we slide once, it'll open the camera. Now, Something to remember and keep in mind is once you exit that app and you try, usually it will say it's opening camera, but it does not. So if you notice right down there, it says hovering controls opening camera, but it does not. You have to physically be inside the application. Now let's try slide twice uh, and we will open Google Chrome to slide twice and press on start and it's still open camera, so you gotta be act a little more faster. Now we can turn that off actually. Now let's try. There we go. So after a couple tries, it does work. But other than that, if you don't have the app open, then it's not going to work. Obviously it's a work in progress. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, superman that subscribe button. And also, thumbs up for this amazing D-brand skin. Anyway, everybody, until next time, this is MTG.